Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Okay, uh, till now we have discussed on the SQL part. Okay, when it comes to ETL testing, predominantly we are going to use the SQL. Even we are also going to check about the uh, how to write the queries. Okay, based on scenario level, but they are going to check even at database concepts perspective. So here we are going to we are discussing. Okay, what is the difference between primary key versus unique key? Okay, so first of all, understand. Okay, first of all, what is primary key? What is unique key? And other than that, okay, we have to use this first of all. Okay, see, these are the database constraints. These are the database constraints. When we have a database constraint, nothing but it is it is a rule. Okay, database rules. Okay, how? What are the rules are there in the database? Basically, primary key, unique key, default key, not null, check constraint. And default constraints are there. But now we are going to discuss about the primary key versus unique key. First of all, what is primary key? Then we'll go back to the unique key. Okay. Primary key is a key, it is a combination of two keys. One is unique key, and other than that, not null. Okay. Basically, primary key, who's going to provide the primary key when it comes to real time? Okay. Basically, in general, it is going to be decided by the business. Okay, business is going to do that. And what are the differences between unique key and as well as primary key? Basically, primary key it serves as a unique record in the table. It serves as a unique record in the table. When it comes to unique key, also it does same thing. It does same thing. But primary key cannot accept the null values. Cannot. Accept the null values, but unique key will allow null values. Unique key will allow null values. When it comes to okay, in a table, how many primary keys can be placed? Okay, in a table, only one primary can be allowed. One primary key can be allowed. What about unique key? In unique key, you can allow n number of unique keys. Okay, you can with in a table, you can create n number of unique keys in a table. Primary key supports auto increment values, but unique key does not support auto increment values. We cannot change or delete values stored in primary keys when it comes to real time. But when it comes to unique key, you can change unique key values. values. Okay, generally high level, I would say it's kind of you can see that primary key will not allow null values okay and it cannot it cannot accept the null values and it is going to only single primary key can be allowed in a table but when it comes to unique key you it is also serves as same like primary key but it can accept null values but another question which they are going to ask you how many null values it is going to allow in unique key you can say that n number of null values n number of null values because each null is different each null is different that is the reason you can act it unique key can allow n number of null values null values that's it for the day guys thank you please contact sr technologies for etl testing or big data testing training and moreover we are going to provide the one real-time project for for whenever you we give training at the end, end of the classes once we have completed all the theoretical part as well as practical part we are going to provide the one project complete end to end project at the end of the classes end of the classes thank you guys